the Slayer 007 exciter circuit here. Um, this is a 1.5 volt circuit and I'm going to go through the circuits at different voltages and just show you the brightness I'm getting. That ground symbol there, I'm actually using the television aerial up on the roof. Um, that's a 100 ohm resistor. In place of this capacitor, I'm using a 1N4001 diode pointing from neg rail to the base of the 2N2222 transistor. And I found that the best coil configuration is a slightly thicker coil down the bottom and around four to six turns. My um, power source is a AAA battery, 1.5 volts. You can see it's enough to light up a neon uh, around the tower. And I also get light out of my fluorescent tube. And that's about 15, 20 centimetres away from the tower. So that's off a 1.5 volt. Um, hang around till I get to the 12 volts and you'll see a nice plasma production. Anyway, I'm going to step up through the voltages. Okay, 3 volts. That's the lead. Here's the neon. Lights that up just by getting it near the tower. Um, I can light up this 10 watt fluoro. the tower and of course the uh, fluoro gets good light as well and that's about 20 centimeters away so that's the one and three volts they're both using the same circuit it's a little light outside still so it's probably not as dark as it could be here I've got uh, four and a half volts good brightness and here's the neon. Ten watt fluoro. I just need to get that near and it lights up. Put it in top, it gets quite bright. And the only change I made, oh, this is a big lead. The only change that I made to the circuit there is that resistor now becomes a 680 ohm resistor and I am using the 100 picofarad cap there. Okay, so that's uh, four and a half volts. Just under six volts. It's getting flat that battery. That good field there, probably. 25, 30 centimeters away. Easily lights up 10 watt bulb. The neon. Good 10 centimeters away there, getting good light. Uh, that's off about five and a half, six volts. The only difference here is the capacitor here. You can use the capacitor, but I replaced it with a 1N4148 diode going from neg rail to base. I get good brightness there. Next is 9 volts. This is 9 volts now, and I've changed the transistor to a 2N3055. And a diode here, 1N4148. The resistor has gone to 16K ohms. And probably a 1 mega ohm would be better there. The transistor does get a little bit hot if you run it too long. So running on good 9 volts. Good brightness all the way out here. light up that easily inside very bright 
a neon anywhere in the vicinity, it'll work. Okay, so that's 9 volts. Next we'll go to 12, and we should start seeing a good plasma production from the wire here. Okay, at around 15 volts, I found um, adding a capacitor in between the end of this diode and the base of the transistor helps to um, give me more consistent light and it stops the transistor from overheating. So that's a 2N4148 diode going from the negative to the base. But in between this and the base, I've got a capacitor out of a disposable camera. Um, so it's about usually 80 microfarads, 300 volts, and gives me a more consistent light. Here's my 4 watt fluoro. It's probably three quarters of a meter from the tower here. Still lit up. Place it on the ground there, it's still lit up. 10 watt CFL. Can place that on top. go plenty of light there and I'll add the neon in as well the neons lit up just in the general vicinity and the nice thing about having that large capacitor there is that my transistor now isn't even warm you know I can put my finger on it it's not even close to getting hot just wanted to show the plasma production from this baby You'll see it there just near the stack of um, spherical magnets. Plasma. So, getting great production there. You can see it propelling the wire around. And uh, there's the smell of O3 in the air. If there's any doubt as to the destructive force of that plasma. You can see it there, push the paper over, and it's uh, making a black hole in the paper. And uh, eventually that bursts into flames. Okay, just a quick load test. I've got a neon, 10mm lead, four fluorescent tubes, and power. You can see the neon down on the bottom of the screen, just, there's another fluoro on top. If I touch the bulb I get more power, so, there we go, plenty of light from this baby. I'm still getting uh, plasma production, I don't know if you can see that or not, a little purple glow about there. So lots of power from this baby okay we're pulling out the big guns <laughs>